chia seed breakfast. You know, I know when you got kids, mornings are crazy. You want quick and easy and you want nutrient dense. We don't want dead foods, dead cereals that are high in sugar. That's not gonna help our kids start their school day focused. Um, chia seeds, you know, I actually meant to bring them before I was soaked and I forgot them. They're just these little black chia seeds. Can I see my overhead? And I soak them in water. Okay, they just come just as these tiny little black seeds, you buy them, um, soak them in water. Usually I make like, this is like a quarter cup of chia seeds mixed with about um, two and a half cups of water. And then, you know, it takes about 20 minutes to like congeal like that. But what you do is you can just make a big batch and put it in the fridge like this, and then it's ready. And I'm gonna show you how we're gonna make it into like a yummy, yummy yogurt. These are washed. Easy breezy. Really, really awesome. Sprouts have so much nutrients um, and they're really something awesome. you want to grow yourself. Okay, so we're going to um, blend this up real quick. We're going to make like a yogurt. Um, we're going to mix it with the chia seeds. You can do this with any fruit. This is super yummy with mango um, and grapes. I mean, it's super great with a lot of stuff. So we're just going to mix this in with the chia. And that, look at how pretty colors. So lovely. So, and then this is like a yogurt, and I, I sometimes mix a probiotic powder in with this. And what's so um, great about chia seed breakfast, like, <laughs> look how quick and easy, like, you can make it before, scoop it up into a bowl, and you make, you make it different every day. So sometimes, you know, put a little kiwi in there, um, and some grapes, and, you know, sometimes you'll do bananas and maybe some walnuts. Sometimes maybe you'll do uh, cut up green apple or any kind of apple and cinnamon. Chia seeds are super high in omega-3s. Um, they have enzymes in them, which we talked about. And the reason why we eat raw foods or living foods is because of the enzyme content. When we cooked foods, um, they, it has no enzymes. And also like a cereal that you buy, even though you don't consider it a cooked food, it has been cooked. So that food doesn't have enzymes and enzymes are what regenerate and help every single organ action and function of the body. So they're super important. And um, you know, according to uh, something called digestive leukocytosis, we really need 51% living foods in our diet in order to function optimally. So chia seeds are a great quick way to get those enzymes in the morning, to get the omega-3s that make us so beautiful and keep our digestion working perfectly, keep our bowels lubricated, glowing. So there's a lot of um, bioavailable fiber in here and calcium and protein. It's like a super way to get everything that you need. And what's fun about this too is you can put them in popsicles. Ooh. And you can just put them in the, you know, the, like, I got these at Sur La Table, they're like 12 bucks. You can put this mixture in um, popsicles and freeze them, and that's so great for after school snack for the kids.